Hey guys, uh, welcome to Amazingly Enough. Uh, my name is Fahim and uh, I have a special guest today with us, uh, Donald. Uh, so, uh, Donald is an alumni of uh, Conestoga College and uh, today we are doing a video on a course which is Applied Networking Infrastructure and System Administration. And uh, Donald happens to be a graduate of this course from Conestoga College. So, uh, just to give you guys an overview, uh, today we'll be asking Donald a few questions which I suppose uh, every student might be having if they are considering this course. And uh, uh, just to give you an overview of the course, it's uh, mostly about virtualization and uh, system administration. Uh, the course is overall of uh, two years and it has four semesters. Uh, per year fee is uh, something around uh, $15,000 and it keeps on changing so you have to check on the Conestoga website. Uh, so Donald, uh, first thing that I want to ask you about this course is uh, how was your experience uh, doing this course in Conestoga College? Uh, yeah, so overall the experience was pretty good. I only had to uh, go to college for two semester because of the pandemic. Uh, the two semester, the campus life, uh, the facilities provided by the college, it was all good. And the professors were all, uh, uh, they had proper knowledge about what they were teaching and uh, they were able to deliver everything, all the topics on time and also uh, they used to help us a lot with the assignments and they still do, uh, even if it is online, they try their best to make sure that the students receive the knowledge and uh, the resources which the college have planned initially. Okay, that's great. Uh, so how many subjects did you uh, study in all? Uh, in all your four semesters? Yeah, overall uh, in all the four semesters there were about 20 to 22 subjects each semester comprising of five to six subjects so uh, each semester will be split into two halves the first half will contain uh, two or three subjects and uh, once that is once a uh, subject is over it will be followed by another subject probably the advanced version of the one which we already learned and uh, that's how the semester is uh, compiled Okay, so just to be clear here guys, uh, uh, this is how most of the technical courses are designed over here. They don't put a lot of pressure on you guys. So if there are six subjects in a semester, only three will be in the first half and three will be in the following half. So you don't have to carry on a lot of weight on your shoulder. So that's one good thing about technical subjects. Uh, and Donald, uh, since it's all about a virtualization and a virtual servers, uh, if a person comes from a non-technical background, will they be able to cope up with this course? Yeah, of course, because uh, the, uh, the course is basically a startup. So it's like a networking 101. So uh, they teach all the basics of networking of VMware, virtualization, Windows Server, and uh, they slowly progress. Uh, as each semester gets over, they progress over to the advanced version of the subjects, which they already taught in the previous semester. So a person who is not from a computer background or a person who has experience only in coding, but nothing to do with networking, for sure they can uh, opt for this course. They will teach uh, A to Z. Perfect. And uh, one more question, uh, how long is the, what is the duration of each class? Um, each class will take up to four to five hours, but the lectures, uh, since this being a practical course, the lectures will only take about an hour or two. And the rest of the time is given by the professor for us to do the assi assignment and the assessment or for some Q&A &A sessions. Okay, perfect. And uh, one more thing I wanted to ask you, uh, just a basic question. So in this course, how are the assignments designed? Are they more of a theory? You have to write reports or is it more of a practical work? Not at all theory. Uh, I would say that 85% uh, of the course comprises of practical assignments because most of the subjects, uh, almost all of the subjects are practical subjects. Uh, VMware, virtualization, hypervisor, uh, Windows Server. There are a couple of subjects which are more of a uh, report uh, in nature. So uh, for those subjects, the assignments will be uh, like writing reports, like uh, creating a build book or uh, some kind of a word document. Uh, but apart from that, all the other subjects are practical and we have to do the practical and we have to take screenshots of all the important steps and we have to make it into a word or a PDF document and then we have to submit it. And later on uh, in the next day, the professor will ask, will look at your uh, environment or look at the assignment that you have created and he'll be asking questions or he'll be asking you to demonstrate one or two steps just to make sure that you have done it right. 
Okay. And uh, since you mentioned that uh, because you only uh, attended two semesters in college, I just want to uh, contrast the differences. What do you think? Like, uh, was your course better on uh, offline or is it better online? What are the difficulties you faced uh, during COVID while you were attending this course online? Uh, I would say uh, it was better offline since this, like I mentioned before, this is a practical course and uh, uh, practical uh, uh, studies can't be delivered online effectively. So I would say offline would be a better option. Uh, even if we have any doubts, it will be uh, much more better if we can ask those doubts or, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, get the proper information if it is in class. And also the way the assignments are assessed. Um, I personally don't believe that uh, practical assignments can be assessed in the proper manner online. Uh, if the professor is there real time, then he would be able to give us the proper feedback and we will also be in contrast able to ask uh, any kind of doubts to him, which we won't be able to do online. Makes sense. And uh, uh, let's turn towards the program outlines now. What was your, what were the learning outcomes that you got from this course? Uh, from this course, one would be able to uh, learn about mainly about virtual virtualization and virtual environments. So this is a very important technology that has emerged recently in IT uh, because there are a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, uh, stuff that we need to do uh, and we won't be able to do it real time. So virtualization offers an environment where we can do, we can play around with different technologies, with uh, different modulations of the same thing. Uh, which we won't be able to do or we won't have the resources to do in real time. So I would say virtualization is one of the things which I gained uh, knowledge and also a lot of things about Windows Server and Windows planning and also about networking, uh, packet tracing, uh, SQL servers and all that. Because networking is not going anywhere yeah. anytime soon. And uh, what do you think your future prospects are regarding this uh, program? So um, I would be able to uh, venture into different fields uh, like cyber security or system administration or uh, network administrator. So uh, every IT company requires these uh, personnel uh, who work in system administration and also cyber security which is very important nowadays because uh, you know privacy is a very important part of our life and uh, nowadays everything uh, you can't say for sure that everything is private. So. I would say cyber security is very important. So this course can be a gateway into entering different fields like cyber security and system administration. Okay, uh, let's round it up. Uh, just tell me, uh, like, I just need an honest uh, answer for my uh, viewers. Uh, how hard is the course? Okay, uh, so the course is not that hard. Uh, there is nothing much to do uh, when it comes to uh, attending classes and all that the main core of the course is are the assignments so these are all practical assignments like i said 85 percent of the course comprises of practical assignments uh, so rather than fo focusing on uh, what they teach uh, in the books it is always better to ask questions during this course to the professor the professors are all open to questions so even if it is a question which you think it's not a big deal the professors are still open to all those questions and uh, it, it is better to uh, you know make sure that you learn it in a practical manner rather than trying to memorize the steps or trying to mug it up it's uh, you, you should go with a practical approach that would help you in this course and that would make it a lot easier okay i guess uh, that's all the questions i have thank you so much donald uh, for coming here and uh, giving us an insight of all this course uh, we wish you all the best Thank in your future endeavors and uh, guys uh, I think that was it from our side and uh, if you guys have any questions uh, just post them in the comments below and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until then uh, happy living guys. Bye bye. bye.